Hey there people, how's it going? This is Flawless from Flawless Rage 2 bringing you another video. Tonight, the final device has arrived that I want to show you. This is a Kumba. Um, what is a Kumba? <laughs> well, they make, uh, as a company that make um, quite a few products. And I found this one on eBay for, I think it must have been roughly around 40 quid. I got it through today and it works. It, it, every single thing on it works. Um, let me show you around the unit and then we'll demo it. Uh, so on top here you can see straight off the bat you've got a uh, cassette deck. It's a soft touch uh, full auto stop cassette deck. This has a stereo head and also a electronic erase head on it. So that's really really cool. On the front here you've got an LCD display. Here are your touch um, your touch panel with everything you can do um, with the unit. You can go into the menu, adjust things. Um, it's a really, really good little thing. I like it a lot. Got your, For the tape deck, you have got a tape counter on it. Uh, at the front, at the bottom, you've got two um, CD rewritable drives. Now, these are your standard sort of like um, computer drives. And this can record to CD and it also can record to cassette or from cassette to CD. That's really good. Um, what else can I show you on this thing? Ah, yes, the side. Let's flip it around to the side here. If I can get it around, this is quite a beast. I was actually surprised when it arrived how big it was. Here's all your inputs on the side. You've got a line in and an external amp line out. You can connect two microphones to it and up to six sets of headphones on this thing. That's crazy. So, you know, you could connect anything you really wanted to up to this. You could put on it, uh, you could connect a record player up to this as long as it's got a line level output or do it through print amp, either way. You can connect this up to another external amp, as it says there. You can um, do all sorts of different stuff with this. Really cool little unit. But you don't really need to because on the back here you have two stereo built-in speakers, which is very, very nice. And... I'm very. I was very surprised by the um, sound of this thing. Um, like I said, it didn't cost me too much. It has got a carrying handle on it. Now, why has it got a carrying handle? Well, these things were very popular in schools and also dance studios. So, if a dance studio that's using these things for hours on end every single day, they need to be reliable. So, they are. <laughs> Trust me, they are. Now. Let's get on to um, demoing it. Okay. Let me just get myself comfortable here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this button and switch it on. That comes on. You can't see that, but that does come up there. As you see, real-time recording. There is no dubbing on this thing. There is no ripping. There is no nothing. These drives play a CD and keep it that way. So I'm going to demo this for you. I recently have made um, a fair bit of my own music and uh, I'm going to play you some uh, just to demo this unit. I um, did them um, and then burned them to CD and then recorded them on tape. So I've got a lot of these. These are TDK, D this is a TDK D90. I've got loads of other ones. I bought some job lots of used cassettes off eBay and this was one of the tapes in there. So Without any further ado, I'm going to open it up. You put the tape in that way around and close the lid. And I'm going to check the volume because it is quite late when I'm recording this and I don't want to make too much noise. But this is um, one of my songs. This song is called Breakdown. I'm only going to play you a little bit of it and then we're going to compare it to the CD. So we press play. As you can see, the tape's playing. We turn it up a little bit. Okay, 
So that's enough of that. Um, that was from the cassette. Down here, I'll open both drives. You can see there's no disc in this. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to get the CD I've um, burned it to. So it's just one of these uh, Memorex CDs. I've got a... Um, I got a whole spindle full of these at a car boot sale this year for like 25p. The guy just wanted to get rid of them. So we're going to choose a deck to put them in. And we've got to do that. As I put it in there, you're going to say it's load and CD. That's got to tell you how many tracks are on there and how long the um, disc lasts for. And this is track number two on the CD. That is showing deck B. I want the other one. Let's open it up. There we go, tray open, let's close it again. It was trying to load that one because it's the last one I closed. Now it's loading A. So it's found the CD, there you go, eight songs, 35 minutes, 57 seconds for the entire thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select track two, which is what that was, and I'm going to hit play. And this is now the CD of the same track. Just pause that a minute. So there you go. That's the comparison. Honestly, it's night and day. It really is. The cassette deck on here records superbly. Um, on the front, you can see you've got a cueing function, a speed control, a tone balance, so you can adjust your bass and treble. And this, for a little unit, kicks out some bass, let me tell you. Um, you've got your menu, deck select, which I should have just pressed. You've got your record um, functionality there for disc as well. So that's really good. Now, this can do a little party trick. You can actually slow down and speed up your CDs, what you're playing back. Whether it be a burned disc or a pressed disc, you can do that. So let me show you that in action. So I'm going to start the, I'm going to press this again to resume the playback. Hang on, I've got the right. Right, okay, we've got it playing back. Now, if I press speed, I can slow it right down. So as it slowed down, or we can speed it right up. So there you go. That's just um, a little demonstration of it. Let me take the disc out. There we go. CD is out. So there you go. That's the Coomba uh, system as well. Let's take the tape out as well. Honestly, I love it. I think it's a great little unit. I could connect that up to an external amplifier and play that, and I'd be as happy as a pig in shit. I really would. It's such a good little... Um, uh, deck you know the things you can do with it record these both these decks are recordable you can record to tape from tape to disc you know it's got external on the side so you could hook up a record player back up your vinyl records that way in real time as well you know it's such a good little system so there you go that's the Coomba but we're not just here to look at that today I've recently also purchased some um, cassette tapes was going to do this one in a separate video, but decided, fuck it, I'll do it in this one. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. I have brought more than what I'm going to show you. The other, the reason I'm showing you these ones is because the other ones are like Michael Jackson, Jackson's Jackson 5. And um, I want to keep them for a separate video at some point. So let me show you the other ones that I bought. And we're going to kick it off over here with this one. This is Bon Jovi with New Jersey. Great album, um, legendary rock band there, Bon Jovi. Uh, next up, we have some female rock in the form of Belinda Carlisle. 
formerly one part of the Go-Go's. She um, is, um, you know, a great singer and um, has made some amazing music over the years. So that's Belinda Carlisle. Next up, we have MJ's sister. It's Janet Jackson with Rhythm Nation, 1814, on cassette. And all these tapes are in pretty good condition, actually. Uh, you know, for and they, honestly, they weren't too expensive at all. They were really good. So that was Rhythm Nation. Legendary British band here, the Bee Gees, with the very best of. Hopefully that'll focus in. Come on, focus. There we go. The very best of the Bee Gees. Um, only one left now, sadly. The other ones are passed on, but um, legends in the music um, world. And uh, there you go. That's the Bee Gees there. Really nice. Next up, we have my favourite female rocker of all time. Um, she's coming to Vinyl Friday. I've got a few of her records that I'm going to be showing you. But this is Pat Benatar. You may know her from her songs like We Belong, Love is a Battlefield, things like that. Um, this is um, the very best of. There's been two best ofs of her released, which I have both on CD, but I picked this one up on um, cassette as well. Um, I thought, why not? I do have that one on disc as well. Next up, we're going to go back to looking at some soundtracks now. This is Top Gun 1986. And still got a hype sticker on this one. Um, there you go, starring Tom Cruise, Kelly McGillis. And uh, yeah, all the favourites are on here. Danger Zone's on here. You can also hear that on GTA. Um, you've got um, Playing With The Boys on here. Take My Breath Away by Berlin is on here. Just to name but a few. Great tape. Um, this is the original version, I believe, because all the original versions were on a red CBS um, tape label. Next up, another... Um, well, this one's like more like 1990, 89-90. This is Pretty Woman, starring Julia Roberts and Richard Gere. Um... If you haven't seen this one, it's a different, very, very different movie. Um, yeah, really, you know, but I used to have this on um, uh, vinyl, but I don't anymore. Um, when I did, it was the thinnest record I have ever seen in my entire life. Crazy. But there you go. That is Pretty Woman on cassette. Just a few more to show you here. Another soundtrack to a legendary movie. This is Flashdance. Flashdance, 1980s movie. And... You know, I grew up watching this thing. You know, I love the film. It's a great um, movie and it's a great soundtrack. I used to have this one on vinyl as well. Um, picked up the cassette, because why not? Yeah, it's the, emo it's the original motion picture. And inside there, there's the tape. And it fell out of the case. I'll pick that up in a minute. <laughs> there's the songs that are on it. It's just such a great... Um, soundtrack. I'm really, really happy to own it, and uh, I'll definitely be giving that a play. I might even convert some of these to um, CD. You never know. Uh, back to Belinda Carlisle with another one of her albums, Heaven on Earth. Uh, this one has got a fair few songs on it that she released, so, you know, can't be too bad there. Uh, two more to show you. This one is Greatest, the best of Duran Duran. They were a British 80s pop band. Um, you might know them for songs like Rio, Hungry Like the Wolf, and, um, oh, God, well, I should list them on the back here. Let's have a look. Um, is There Something I Should Know is on there. Um, Save a Prayer, Ordinary World is on there. Wild Boys, you know, great band. Bit of Duran Duran. And finally, we back to start... Um, we back to how we began with Bon Jovi. This is his album, seven eight uh, or seventy eight hundred Fahrenheit. Uh, this one, I love. This has got to be like my favorite Bon Jovi album of all time. Uh, my favorite song is on here, which is a track called Secret Dreams, and um, you know it's such a good, good um, album. So I decided to pick it up on cassette, and also the label on the cassette, um, you, you know, look nice. So there you go. That is what I've got to show you today. So there we have it. A Kumba, um, or a Kumba, um, double CD um, cassette recorder, and also um, some cassette tapes as well. So there you go. This video has been long enough, I think. So I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you're um, into this sort of stuff, you know, you hopefully you um, did enjoy this one. But right now, I'm going to get out of here. 
and thank you all for watching. Um, see you in the live streams, and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe here if you're new. Turn on them post notifications to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video or stream. Also, follow me on Instagram at Flawless Rage 2. But for right now, guys, it is time for me to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And nothing else has left to be said today, guys. But always remember to be you, be the real you, be the true you, because no point in being anything else, is there? Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye.